Welcome to this mini lecture for essay writing for university as we begin week five. So week five sees us start module three in the study guide which is about reading, research and referencing. Uh, and as you work through this module you're going to be starting to build many of the skills that you will take th right through to the end of this course. Um, so while we're working directly towards assignment two as we do module three you'll also carry these skills with you through assignments three and most importantly assignment four. So you can see there that um, what we're going to be looking at this week um, are academic reading skills and strategies that you might like to start employing, uh, note taking skills, uh, an introduction to paraphrasing and using direct quotations in your academic writing and um, the key skills to do with the um, Harvard referencing style and by the end of this week you'll be approximately halfway through module 3 but you'll be more than ready to start work on assignment 2. Um, the readings in the resource material section on Moodle that you will need for this module are readings 11, 12, 13 and 14 and I'll talk a bit about them in a moment. So if we think right back to the beginning of the course uh, when we looked at this circles of concern model um, as to how the course unfolds, you can see now that we're really into this second circle um, of concern. So you are now well on the way to becoming an academic writer. So you're going to be developing skills and honing your skills in academic writing and understanding more about academic writing conventions and structures and most importantly as I've just stated using academic reading research and referencing techniques so that's what module 3 is all about and we're also going to be looking at if you look on the right hand side of the circle um, looking at how your values and beliefs connect with what's happening in contemporary Australia today um, in relation to a couple of issues and also looking at um, social and cultural influences and issues that shape life in contemporary Australia. So there's two particular issues that you'll have a choice of um, looking at for assignment two and then as we move towards the end of the course um, you will be able to start choosing the, your own topic to look at and making sure that that's one of interest to you. So that's where we're up to and it's a timely reminder also here at this almost halfway point of essay writing to remember that there is an expectation that there's a 12 hour weekly commitment from you as a student. So if you're internal you'll be attending four hours of class but that means there's another eight hours left um, where you're expected to be working responsibly um, on your own with the guidance of your lecturer of course and if you're a distance student that 12 hours a week is um, for you to plan and organize your time so that you're making your way uh, through the study material through the Moodle resources that you're directed to um, and asking questions of your support lecturer as you need to do that as well. So it's not a small time commitment and it's one that you need to um, from now on particularly make sure that you have time for if you're going to be successful in the rest of the course. So even though assignment 2 is not due until the end of module 3 you really need to have in your mind what is expected of you with this assignment right from the start of this module. So just like you did for assignment 1 you need to go to the assessment block on Moodle on the left hand side of the page and this time you're going to be clicking on assignment 2 the research paragraph and that will open up a page where you can download and print out the full task and criteria sheet that tells you what you have to submit, how much um, waiting the assessment is worth, its due date and um, all those other very important details. And then what you will also find is that activity 310 in the study guide is, is 
the assessment so you'll need to go to that also and it will step you through how to attack this assignment and so by the end of this week you'll be in a position to um, have started the work for the assignment and be about halfway through um, what you need to do um, in terms of completing particular tasks. So the first key concept in the study guide um, in module three is about active reading. So I'm not going to go into that here because there's another short video here on Moodle about active reading and reading strategies. So I urge you to watch that. Um, you might like to take a few notes and then you might like to read the material that it accompanies that's in the study guide about active reading and reading strategies because you will be starting to put those into practice. The second key concept for this week or concepts, um, they are about paraphrasing, the skill of paraphrasing and how you use direct quotes. So once again, there's a short video specifically devoted to that topic um, here on Moodle. You need to watch that through and then you also need to read through the material on paraphrasing and direct quotations that's in the study guide. Make sure that you work through the activities um, related to those topics um, so you can check that you've understood what it's all about and this is the uh, exciting point in the course where you start to really employ the other book that you've been sent which is the Harvard referencing guide so, so for this week I would suggest that you need to read the introductory section in that guide pages 1 to 18 um, which explain to you the principles of referencing, why it's used, how it's used and give you some examples. So I wouldn't expect that you're memorizing that information. Um, you may still have questions about it but it's the basis of um, what you're going to be doing for the rest of the course so you need to get a, an idea of what's ahead of you right now. So all these things are essential skills that you're going to employ in assignment two and assignment three and assignment four. Then we have our third concept for this week which is about note taking when you're reading and in particular the notes TM strategy of note taking and notes TM is explained to you in the study guide. Uh, it's also um, explained to you in um, one of the videos here on Moodle and it's about taking and making notes and the distinction between those two activities. There's material in the study guide about other forms of note taking. It's not essential that you practice all of those. They're just there for your information. Uh, notes TM should be your key focus for understanding a note taking practice. And again, this is an essential skill for assignment two because you will actually hand in examples of notes TM that you, um, that you complete. So once you've worked through those things, which is approximately the first half of module three, you're in a position to start assignment two. So as I indicated earlier, read the task and the criteria sheet that you download from Moodle and also go to activity 310 in the study guide. So you'll feel like you're jumping, jumping a big chunk of the study guide, but this is where you're ready to go to. So you'll see in that activity that you get to choose um, out of two topics, the topic that you're going to write your research paragraph on for assignment two. And the topics are either volunteering or plastic bags. Now in choosing the topics, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. You don't have to be in love with either of the topics. The topic is really just there for you to show and demonstrate that you can um, execute the skills that we're talking about in this module to do with reading, note taking, referencing and writing a research paragraph. So if you don't care either way, just pick a topic and go with it. So what you will need to do then is actively read the readings for the topic that you've chosen. So if you choose the volunteering topic, the readings that you will use are readings 11 and readings 12 that you will find on the Moodle site in the resource materials. If you choose plastic bags, you will be using readings 13 and 14. So you really only are going to do two out of four of those readings depending on the topic that you choose. 
So once you've read them through once, then you are going to actually do some um, a notes TM for each of the readings. So there's a template for notes TM that you can download from Moodle in the assessment block. Um, or you can set up your own notes TM template in Word, but it needs to look like the template that we have provided for you and that you will see in the study guide. And so let's say you're doing volunteering as your topic, you will do a notes TM um, on reading 11 and you'll do a notes TM on reading 12 and you will hold on to those notes TM because they will be submitted as part of your assignment. Now it's absolutely fine to handwrite those notes TM but you will have to be able to scan them um, so you can upload them when you upload your complete assessment at the end of week, week six. If you want to type out your notes TM as you will see in um, a couple of the sample assignments that we've provided for you that's fine too but it's not essential. Most people when they are note taking or many people would actually still handwrite so that's fine. So if you can get to the point where you've completed the notes TM for both the readings on your chosen topic by the end of this week you have made a great start for assignment two and you'll be ready to keep going with the material in the next um, next week. So in summary for this week make sure you're very clear about the requirements for assignment two. There's a number of things that you have to submit and if you're not sure about that make sure you ask questions of your lecturer whether you're internal or whether you're distance. Ensure that you've chosen your topic and made your way through activity 310 to part 4b which is what I've just explained on the previous slide. After this week is a vacation week, a midterm break, so there's no work set um, on Moodle in that week but I would strongly urge you to actually keep working on module 3. All the material will be up for week 6 on Moodle so there's nothing to stop you in working ahead um, and if you've made that good progress you congratulate yourself on keeping moving through essay writing for university.